Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Well, here we are in beautiful downtown Alhambra, and we have come back for an update. We are standing in front of Fossilman's Ice Cream and Candy Store here. I'm standing with John and Chris Fossilman. We first met how many years ago, fellas? Fuel, it was 1990, 14 years ago, and about 50 pounds for me. <laughs> we came here to do a video log, an yeah. old video log, on your family's ice cream, which has been around since? 19 19, our 85th year. 1919. Now, fellas, I looked at that old video log uh, <laughs> a couple of days ago to kind of refresh my memory, sure. and I kind of winced <laughs> yeah. when I saw it. The, the, the good old days, huh, Hill? For you and me both, I think. 14 <laughs> years ago, a lot has happened yeah, absolutely. in 14 years, and in a, in a funny kind of way, uh, it's kind of shocking to see yeah. what we looked like yes. that many years ago. So here we are. That we're going to re-air that original video log to kind of bring everybody up to speed on what Fossilman's is all about. And in this video log, my younger brother will be the host. Yes. Your younger, younger brothers, brothers will be course, in the show. Yeah, absolutely. But here it is. We're going way back in time for that original video log from 14 years ago when we visited Fossilman's Ice Cream here in Alhambra. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Mmm. Well, here I am in Alhambra having a very tasty ice cream cone, banana nut. But as anybody in these parts will tell you, this ice cream is not only tasty, it's downright historic. Because you see, this is Fossilman's ice cream. When Bob Fossilman scoops out a big old chocolate chip ice cream cone for a hungry customer, he's carrying on a family tradition that started over 70 years ago started in an old brewery building in Iowa, to be exact. Yep, that's where Mr. Christian Anthony Fossilman started his ice cream business, a business that moved to Pasadena along with the whole Fossilman family in 1924, a business that thrived and moved in 1941 to Alhambra, where the Fossilmans have been dishing out their famous ice cream ever since. Okay, it should be ready to draw up about now. Yeah, it's nice and thick. And not only do the Fossilmans dish out ice cream, they make ice cream. Make it the old-fashioned way, in a space that's not much bigger than an average size room, and with equipment that dates back to World War II. Ice cream is not that complicated a product. <laughs> <laughs> cream and sugar and milk are your basic ingredients, and as long as you use fresh cream and fresh milk, well, how can you go wrong? Well, this is basically, walking in here is kind of like walking back in time. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to replace equipment like this because uh, they don't make it small scale anymore. Everything is so huge and everything is made with quantity production in mind, millions and millions of gallons, while this was basically developed back in the days when ice cream manufacturers weren't small. Well, when ice cream making was fun, mm -hmm. do you have fun doing it? I wouldn't have stayed in it for all these years. <laughs> I do. I, I really get a kick out of developing new flavors and making a good product that people enjoy. Now, one of the interesting things about your ice cream is that you specialize in these exotic flavors. Yeah, that we do. What kind of flavors do you have? We go from all different types of things. We do a green tea. We'll do a dragon eye. Taro. A dragon eye? Dragon eye. What's that? It's a type of fruit. It's from China. It's kind of similar to, it kind of looks like a melon ball, really. It has a real exotic kind of uh, light peach, strawberry taste to it. Um, we do a taro root, which is almost like a paste, kind of like a light purple paste, kind of a different one that we Who do. Who eats ever. that? I don't <laughs> it's a good question. You know, I mean, do people call in yeah, they these actually exotic do. orders? Yeah, these are mainly for oriental restaurants. Uh, we do a lot of work with Chinese restaurants and Filipino restaurants. Taro root would be more Filipino. We also do what's called ubi, which is like a sweet 
potato. It's like a purple yam. Wow. And you've got all kinds. Of, what all, is this? This is lychee nut. That's another Chinese lychee type nut. of fruit. Now I'm here with Art and John and a big messy batch <laughs> of Rocky Road. And this is messy, isn't it? That's, yeah. This is about the messiest one we're going to make. We run it off, just the chocolate part of it, in the ice cream maker. Run it off into the funnel, then we add in our walnuts and our Rocky Road. The reason we do this is just to keep all the bigger, bigger parts of ingredients from getting crushed up in the machine. And you have to have it in one of these big... Uh, Got to put it in the big funnel bottles. and run it off. And then, of course, comes the sloppy way of having to put it in the buckets. You just got to do it all manually, which again is where you get the sloppiness into it. We kind of try to avoid having you guys see us, but you caught us in the act. Yeah, you didn't want us to see you doing this part of it. <laughs> but actually, sure. Art hasn't been a bit, hasn't missed. No, he it, hasn't. It, He's been pretty good with it. He hasn't been slopping as much as I probably would be. <laughs> <laughs> it really looks yeah. great. Are you ever tempted when you're doing this? Do it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, while we were slopping away making the rocky road, up in the front part of the establishment, John's sister and father were busy serving ice cream to satisfied customers. Customers who've been coming to Fossilman's for years. What could you tell me about Fossilman's ice cream if I was a newcomer to town? Well, it, it uh, not only tastes good, but my grandchildren like it. I bring them in here all the time. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, in fact, this is the first time I've been in for a long time without them. Uh -huh. But I sneak in once in a while. And mine is rum raisin with hot fudge. Oh, you got the fattening stuff. <laughs> That's Thank you. Now, here's your favorite, right? Right, yes. Now, what is this? This is cherries and cream. How many years have you been coming to Fossilman's and eating cherries and cream ice cream cones? Well, I don't always eat cherries and cream, but I've been coming in here 22 years. 22 years? 22 why do you keep coming back? Why do you keep eating this Fossilman's ice cream? It's so good. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> People do like to come in and they like to talk about the past and they like to talk about the family and, you know, I knew your uncle, I went to school with him, you know, I graduated with your aunt, this and that. And, you know, they can come in and everybody kind of relives old times, which is kind of really the neat thing, not only for us, but for them. <laughs> How do you compete with these big companies? The easiest way that I could say that is that we have had high quality products for 70 years and we really don't try to compete. We do our own thing, we have a fine product, we have a good customer following, so, you know, we've made a good living. It's nice to know that it's going to be going on. You know, it is nice to know it's going to be going on. This small family business that found success. Success not by being the biggest, but by turning out a hands-on quality product. Ice cream made the old-fashioned way. Ice cream first made back in Iowa over 70 years ago by Mr. Christian Anthony Fossilman. Ice cream that's still being made today by his children and his grandchildren. At Fossilman's Ice Cream Parlor on West Main Street in Alhambra, thanking the entire family for their hospitality and the ice cream, I'm Huell Hauser for Video Log. Video Log is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Here's a lady who's not very excited about us catching her on camera. Why is that? Because I have two spoons in my ice cream. Mm -hmm. And because you're going to eat the whole thing yourself. Yes. <laughs> so you got busted, is what you're saying. No, you didn't have to say that. Do you come here to Fossilman's quite a bit? I come here more than I should. Yeah. And, and that's the reason right there. This is the reason right here. You think they got good ice cream. Now, these are the Fossilman boys standing right here behind you. How are you? Do you think you have good ice cream? I think it's delicious. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> your name is? Joyce. Nice to meet you. Enjoy your ice cream. Would you like some? <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, here we are. We're standing back at the exact same counter where we were standing sure. 14 years ago when we shot that original video log. Some things change sure. us, yes. and some, <laughs> some things 
<laughs> stay the same. Uh -huh, the absolutely. store, yes. although the store has changed a little bit too. Sure. What, what has been happening to the Fossilman ice cream empire? Well, ever since you shot the video log back in the 90s, you know, where the business has increased, we're about 500 percent above where we used to be. So You're kidding. 500 percent. 500 percent. Now, what do you attribute that to? The, is, is the ice cream a good business? Is it, uh, yeah, you're doing more marketing? What, what's happening? A combination of everything, really. The ice cream is definitely a good business, I think, but uh, we also have really been going after the wholesale end of the business, which is something we never did before. We we're more retail-based, and now what we do is we manufacture for hotels and restaurants and country clubs all throughout L.A. and Orange County. Wow, and yeah. you've got something new you wanted to point out over here, Chris. Yes, uh, we actually put this half gallon cabinet in because it has 56 different flavors and this was my dad's brainchild and we fought him tooth and nail and of course he was right it really does its job it's a great marketing tool people come for one flavor they see all this selection they leave with two or three it's, and you've it's still wonderful. got those amazing flavors burgundy cherry cinnamon there's a chai tea Oh yeah, the Maca chai tea. Chai tea, macapuno, green, tea. green tea. Green tea. All of these, uh, so these exotic things that you all were doing 14 years ago have really paid off for you. They really have. Not Nobody does it from my knowledge. I mean, this, this area is really diverse with different people and uh, they hear about it and they tell their friends and they come back and get what they really want. We've got a lady here who's getting the last bite out of her cup here. <laughs> Hello. Your name is? Barbara Hollis. And I have a feeling this isn't your first visit to Fossil. You're right. <laughs> you know these boys? I know face. Uh -huh. right. Well, they're the Fossilman boys. Oh, good. This is their ice cream. What My, would you tell them about it? They're standing right here. And I can't have ice cream, so you have sorbet. sorbet. So that's what I'm having. <sighs> that's it. So you get the sorbet. Yep. How many years you been coming here? Quite a while. <laughs> I live at a retirement center with my friend. Uh, what, three blocks down is Atherton? So you're Block. almost a regular here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. there are a lot of regulars here. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a huge part of our business is we have people that have been coming in back from the days when my dad and uncles were running their stores in uh, Highland Park and South Pasadena. So isn't that interesting? At the same time you have increased your, your business by 500% by all of this wholesale uh -huh. stuff, you are still got the core right oh, here in the store absolutely. of your regular customers. Absolutely. absolutely. This store is like a showroom and people come here, try all the different flavors. We listen to what they like. We try to improve on it. They give us suggestions. And the, the key to us, I really believe, is listening to people. Sure. What they have to say, they're, they're completely right on. Well, wow, that's a novel idea for a business <laughs> these days, isn't it? To actually listen to what your customers have to say. That's right. Well, again, it's not brain surgery. Yeah, this, is a, this is like marketing 101, Absolutely. but isn't it interesting how many businesses fail because they they don't listen to their customers. Oh, there's no question about it. I think that what like Chris had brought up is with the diverse community, we've changed from, you know, we do a dulce de leche for the Latin community, mango, coconut, pineapple. We do all the Asian flavors, taro, lychee, ubi, you know, those types of things because the ch customer base has changed so much and we have a whole new influx of people that love Fossilman's no matter where they and came see, from. see, these are the kind of flavors that you're, well, there he is up over the counter there. The, that that's the man who started it all. That's my grandfather, Christian Anthony Fossilman. And your 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 background is what from what country? Uh, we're from Germany originally. So when he first came here from Germany and you all opened all this up, sure. he in a million years wouldn't have thought of these these exotic kinds of Defin ice. Definitely not. But the neat thing too is we also make a lot of the flavors that he made, you know, 85 years ago. That we still make the old-fashioned peppermint candy and lemon custard and rum raisin and things that that English toffee. Do you make that, what was that we had with the, the Rocky Road Rocky that I Road, put yeah. my finger in? Yeah, we still make the Rocky Road. That's got to be one of your favorites. It's definitely a, a, a tops, absolutely. <laughs> We're eating a, what is this called? It's a triple scoop hot fudge sundae. This thing looks dangerous to me. Uh, it really is if you're trying to watch your weight. <laughs> so why are you here? Because I'm, he's not, I'm just helping. All right, now how many years you've been coming to Fossil? 
specimens because I have a feeling we have stumbled on yet another regular customer here. <laughs> Well, if I tell you, that discloses my age. <laughs> well, how many years you been coming here? <gasps> um, well, we're, I've been eating ice, ice cream at Fossilman's probably for 35 years. And what makes you come back? Because a lot of people would say ice cream is ice cream is ice cream. Peppermint candy ice cream. Yeah. Seasonal mango ice cream. Yeah. Fresh peach ice cream. It's the flavors. Yeah, it is. And it's got to be the atmosphere, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kind of old-timey, isn't it? Well, it's only ice cream. You don't have to stand in line somewhere and order a hamburger, too. Yeah. Well, now, listen. He's getting anxious, and it's beginning to melt. Yeah. So I think you better get to that. We will. Your Thanks name so again? Much. Louise. And your, your son's name? Galen Cor. Nice to meet you. Nice and we got a whole family over here, boy. You know what? You look like you could do a commercial for Fossilman's. Now, what have you got there? Mocha almond fudge. Okay, is that what you all, and what, is this your daughter? No, this is my niece. Your niece, she's got a... Uh, she has a strawberry. Oh, wow. So, so is this part of it? You bring the whole family? Yeah, I bring, no, these are mine. They're not, uh, that's uh, somebody else's family. Oh, okay. <laughs> so these, this is your family? Yeah, these are my nieces. You all come here on a regular basis? Yeah, I used to live over here, and I come back over here just to come get the ice cream. You're a kid. <laughs> it's, I, it's that good? It is that good. I actually saw you the first time you did the story on Fossilman's. Wait a minute, you're kidding. No, really. You were here? No, I wasn't here. I saw the story. Oh, you story saw it when we TV aired it 14 oh, yeah. years ago. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Well, we were just talking. We all look a little different than we did 14 uh -huh. years ago. Yeah. But this is very interesting. You've stayed with them all these years. Oh, of course. It's wow. the best. Well, nice to meet you. Your nice name you. is? Elias. And your name is? Rebecca. Nice to meet you. And your name is? Christina. Nice to meet you. We're just working our way through the line. Howdy, howdy. Hi. Boy, howdy. you got a load Hello. of them here. You. <laughs> What's the deal here? This is Connor and this is Catherine. And we're coming to check out the ice cream again. <laughs> Now, what do you mean, check out the ice cream again? Because we have Irish visitors and we want to make sure that it's still as good as it always is. <laughs> oh, okay, good. So, wait a minute, you're from? Ireland, but I live in Pasadena, South Pasadena. Oh, so you haven't been here in a while. No, no, in it's... about two years. <laughs> so you don't really think that any of this has changed, do you? Oh, no, I think it's the same as ever. <laughs> well, well, everybody's excited. What are you going to get? Uh, what are you going to get? A chocolate ice cream on a cone. And? Green apple sherbet. Green apple sherbet and? And I think I'll have the taro. Wow. Now, do people, when they come, do they already know what they're going to get, or do you have to kind of help them around a little? Some people, some want to try a couple of flavors before they decide which one. But I bet you a lot of people get the same thing every time they come, don't they? Yeah, some do. They'll try some and then they'll still decide on the same old thing. And what's the favorite here? Um, vanilla is really popular in the summer. It's peach. A lot peach of vanilla. Like You're nodding? Yeah, yeah. Peach ice cream. Peach is very popular. popular. Oh, okay. Maybe we're going to get a taste of that before we leave, okay? Oh, sure. Nothing uh, we'll you can't. to leave then. <laughs> <laughs> That's the third third guy to work here too from the same family. What this guy? Yeah, right Andrew. Here? Andrew. Uh huh. You're the third person to work here from the same family. Yes, sir. Who else worked here in your family? My two older brothers. As this, so this is like a rite of passage for your family when they're growing up. Yeah, yeah. You do it as a summer job, as an after-school job. Do it, uh, through the rest of high school. Cool. Right now I'm uh, going to be a junior, so. So your older brothers worked here when they were going through school. Yeah. And you're following in their footsteps. Uh-huh. I guess there was no question about you coming to work here. They didn't really ask your qualifications, did no, they? No, not really. I know my family, so. Well, your name again? Andrew Stebbin. Nice to meet you. He's the third brother to work here. That's something. It's wonderful too because then you get a good family like this. The kids are reliable. You trust them and they like us. It's more than just a job. You know, this is so interesting. Just looking at the look over here. The families coming in for the ice cream. This is about really as old-fashioned and as I mean, this is this is this is the way it used to be, and the way it still is. It really is. You don't see many places like this anymore, and yeah. uh, it's like a it's a meeting place. It's a get to reacquaint yourself with your family. It's awesome. Yeah. How do you create an atmosphere like this? It just kind of happens. You can't 
You can't manufacture it, can you? You couldn't put it together if you tried it. Just there's something about it. I think it's because of our family and how we behave. We're always here together. They saw our uncles, my dad, my brothers. We've always been hanging out together. They feel that unity here, and I think it just transcends to the customers. We got the marketing director from the Alhambra Chamber of Commerce here. Is this an official visit? Semi-official visit. What does that mean? Well, I come in here quite often, <laughs> unofficially, uh -huh. sometimes in disguise. Uh -huh. And you can tell by this that it's fairly frequent. Well, let's don't put a negative connotation no. on eating ice cream. No. That's part of Americana. It certainly is for me. But I guess this gives us the opportunity, and it's an unexpected one. We didn't know you were going to be here today. <laughs> uh, to, to talk a little bit about what a place like this means oh. to a community. This is, this is one of the icons in Alhambra. They're heading for the ice cream. Now, what's the deal? You got the kids in here? You got the kids in the movie, too. Time? Oh, you going to see a movie afterwards? Spider-Man. Oh, great. Kids, what kind of ice cream are you going to get? Hmm. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream? Rainbow. Rainbow? Milkshake. A milkshake? I forgot. Oh, she, well, you better hurry up because... <laughs> it's kind of fun bringing them in here. Isn't it? Oh, it is. <laughs> now, is this a regular stop coming into Fossilman's? It is. Once a week. Really? Oh, yes. How'd you get started coming here? I've been living here for 30 years and I used to live down the street. Uh huh. And I've been coming here all the time. You kind of get hooked on it, though. Oh, it does. <laughs> all right, fellas, time to order. We got four hungry boys here. You better be ready to take their order. And you got one hungry big boy right here who's taking it back oh, to the I've office. It. I've got it, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. I'll be a hero with the snap. <laughs> Look at this. This is great. All right, now, fellas, come on back here and let's talk a little bit about what's changed and what hasn't changed. You were talking about the way you made the ice cream, sure. and that hasn't changed a bit. No, that hasn't changed at all. Everything you saw in the original video log is the same way we've been making it for 85 years. Uh, the only thing that's changed, really, is the volume that we make. We just make a lot more ice cream. They're sitting down to enjoy their Fossilman's ice cream. <laughs> Right. And I have a feeling you're regulars, too. Nope, the first time. What? Right. But he, <laughs> <laughs> we read about it and we knew we ought to be here. We but read he, about it in Westway's magazine. They were just featured in Westway. That's right. right. That's right. So we have new customers. Yeah, right. right. That's right. Wow. We may never come back again after we find out how fat this is. No, no, no. Take a bite. I want to see you when you take your first bite. Oh. Is it what you kind of thought it would be? Oh, yeah. It's great. Really great. You know, I don't know who's following you around or me around, I don't know, but I've seen you about four places so far. You know what? We're hanging out in the right places. <laughs> Rancho Santa Anita and a Tuba Christmas and now here and there's another place I can't remember. Well, congratulations. You found Fossilman. You good places. <laughs> Are we getting the whole family around because there have been some changes since we were here last you all each got married and have been busy since we sure have we were both single back then we both uh, been married my wife jill and Hello. chris married nice anna to meet you. and this is the you this all are anna. married and, and these are your this is a yep. new baby very Brand new new. yep eight weeks wow <laughs> Wow is right. So the ice cream business has been very good to you. And it now, better continue now, who does he too. He to? He's mine also. Okay, These so three we got are three mine. Three kids here. Right. We got we got our first one. The Will. first one here, and then this is one of the original three brothers who owned and started Fossilman. Yeah. Yeah. You were here the first time. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Bill, Bill was the one that wrote the letter to you to begin with. <laughs> to get me here 14 yeah, right. years ago. Yeah, right. And yeah. since that time, both your father and Chris's father have passed away. Actually, uh, our father was Bob, Chris and my dad. Oh, okay. And then our Uncle Jim, who was the gentleman making the ice cream in the original video log. That was Uncle Jim. Well, it's very interesting. We haven't introduced our, uh, ourselves. Hi, I'm, I'm Bob's wife. Right. Well, so let's get everybody in here together because, you know, isn't this interesting how things evolve and how things change and how some people leave and, and others are here? And uh, I'm so proud of my two sons, John and Chris. I'm proud of my entire family. Jill, Anna, my daughter, 
and my other son. Yeah. And now I'm the proud grandmother of eight beautiful grandchildren. Wow. And I have a feeling there might be even more coming yeah, along. I, I do hope so. Yeah, there's, there's something in the not, ice cream. Not, not for me, Yule. <laughs> there's something in the ice cream. Absolutely. Wow, this is just wonderful. Let's get a shot of this whole family here because this is truly about as good as it gets. Uh, we first met almost 15 years ago, and as we said, things have changed and evolved, and new generations are coming along. And, and the memories are here, and the past is here, and yet you're very forward-looking, and you have the whole, these are all, I can see them standing back behind that counter. We, we certainly hope at least one, if not more. It would be fourth generation. Yeah, put him to work first. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> then the others will follow. Chris yeah. already brings him down. He's already learning the ropes. Oh, bring in other customers oh, and other. Well, bring Grant down to work, and he'll, he helps him, you know, do the books and do, uh, putting ice cream in and all kinds of stuff. He credits checks on the weekends and yeah. Wow, that's the success story right there. You got the whole family in this thing. What a wonderful family, the Fossilman family. I'm gonna stand out of the picture because this is a family picture of a California family picture that's just about as good as it gets. This wonderful family, the Fossilmans, who not only continue to turn out great ice cream, but provide us all with inspiration and a positive look at the future at the same time. Give us all a wave. Best ice cream and nicest family in town. <laughs>